Hey, it's Brent Humphreys. You know, there's been a lot of talk today about the new Facebook timelines introduced by Mark Zuckerberg. You know, as I talk to people, I think the reaction is a little bit mixed. There's some people that are really, really excited to get their hands on it. And I think there are other people that are still reeling from the changes introduced this week and what it's going to be like, what it's going to look like. Is it going to be easy to use? Is it going to be hard? And so what I thought I would do is show you how to implement the Facebook timeline now before it's even rolled out. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of you know, technical know-how. I'm just going to show you real quickly. So you go to Facebook.com and you log in. So far so good, right? So I'm going to show you the new timeline for a moment, give you a quick little overview, and then I'm actually going to show you how to build it. Because my thinking is if you haven't seen it yet, you might not want to sit and listen to me for three or four minutes. But if you see it and how cool it is, and you know you can have it right now while you're watching this video, you might just join. So here's my profile. I'm sorry, here's my timeline. Still getting used to the terminology. Here's who I am, my profile photo. I'm a realtor at Remax. I studied at San Diego State. I live in Carlsbad and I married Carrie LaFevers Humphreys. Best blind date I'd ever been on. So four key areas here. I've got 1,168 friends. I'm tagged in 54 photos. I've checked in at 146 different locations and I like 345 pages. If you drill into these, Facebook will build you a map where you can click on it. Here's where I was on the East Coast and I was over here. Let's click on it and see what that was. May 17th, I was at Washington Dulles International Airport. A couple of people liked it and someone commented. Pretty neat. You can scroll over here and do the same thing. Hilton Crystal City, Arlington, Virginia, where my son was in the National Spelling Bee. Pulling in for the big day. Neat. Now, if I go back, um, I can obviously see my likes, which is no big deal. It's just graphically, it's a little bit you know, neater. But what I really love about Facebook right now is that I got a timeline over here on the bar. The timeline, there it is. So I can see now, which is easy, but I can go back and say, where was I in 2007? So I can click on that. Well, according to Facebook, I joined December 16th of 07. And my buddy Jeff said, hello there, great to have you on Facebook. So clearly he was here before I was. Pretty neat. And I can like or unlike that and comment on it just like it was yesterday and put it in his news feed. I started work at Remax International in July of 2001. I go back. Now here's what's really cool. I can actually add to my timeline and chronicle my life. So if I click on plus, actually it was just a mouse hover, I can enter key milestones and experiences, health and wellness, living, relationships. Now this is neat. Did I get engaged? Did I get married? Did I add a child? Did I add a pet? We don't even want to talk about the pet from 1995. Did I lose a loved one or other life event? And I can actually add this and build a photo. So here's how you get the new timeline. So you can have a lot of fun. Oh, recent activity. Brent added a life event to his timeline. Yes, I told the world that I married my sweetheart in September of 1995. Pretty cool. All right. So here's what you do. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. And seriously, this will take you under three minutes. It really is a piece of cake if you got someone walking you through it. Okay. So I go to developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. Step two, I create a new app. This is the hard part, so let me make it really easy. Give your display name something you want. No one will see your display name. No one will even know it. You just got to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Making Cool Video. Now, the namespace is a little tough. Again, no one's going to see it, but you got to give it a name of up to 20 characters. No more. The system will get mad at you. And you can't have a capital letter. You can tell I've worked at this. So I'm going to call this Timeline Video. And it's going to tell me, okay, it's available. Good. I'm going to agree to the privacy policy. Might be a good idea to check that out in a new browser and make sure. Okay? So I went to developers.facebook.com slash apps, created an app, gave it a name and a namespace. Again, nobody knows about these. Confirms it's available. Agree to the privacy and hit continue. Now I've got to prove that I'm a real person and not some robot. 
I'm going to submit and it's going to take a minute. Facebook is going to register me as a developer on its system. And the hard part really is it's got to propagate throughout all the servers. So in a moment, you're going to be asked to type in a silly sentence. I don't even really know what that means, but you have to do it. And you got to get an answer that they accept. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be live. Okay, so it gave me an app and a secret key. It knows how to contact me if there's an issue. I'm going to hit save changes. Okay. One more step. You go to open graph. Now, until this is updated on all the Facebook servers or propagated, you're not going to get this right here. This will be gone. The first time I did this, it took me about three or four minutes or it took Facebook three or four minutes to load it. If this is not here, just be patient and go up and hit reload. Now I'm using the Chrome browser. You can do pretty much anything you want. Just reload the screen if you don't see this. Okay? People can watch a, uh, a movie tonight. Click get started. Hopefully it will like it. I've done this a few times. It's not rejected anything I've done. You don't even mind typos. So it's just checking to see. It likes it. I'm going to scroll down and hit Save Changes and Next. This is what takes a little bit longer. Then you're going to go to your profile. You're going to type it in your web browser. And at the very top, it's going to say, Would you like to enable timeline? And if you do, you click Enable and you'll see the timeline. Your friends are not going to see it yet, but you're going to see it. And this is where you can get it just the way you want it. Set your privacy, add life events, and have fun. So there we are. I'm now enabled. Facebook.com slash California Realtor. And here's my profile right here. Other people can't, uh, they can't see this yet, but I can screw around with it and enjoy it. Add to my about. It's pretty neat. I really like it. So anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the new timeline. Have a good night.